Greetings. This is going to be part review and part lecture, and I uh, hope the title reflects that as I indicated on the uh, video header. The lecture part is two things. Number one, that here, for example, is the curve on this headphone I'm about to do. It's an EQ curve, which same as a frequency response curve turned upside down. And uh, the point of um, doing these as a recommendation is that uh, the testing is done not as an absolute unto itself, like you see with so many reviews that say, well, it sounds wonderful and it sounds dark and it sounds bass heavy and it sounds this is, and you don't know how the thing sounds because that's just that guy's hearing or his, his uh, you know, preferences or whatever. So mine is based on reviewing uh, 150 to 200 different headphones and then getting an idea what the trends are, what the, the common sound is and all that sort of thing. And my hearing stretches far enough uh, and flat enough to uh, be able to make the comparisons and tell what the differences are. And that's really all it counts. So it's not my preference, it's, uh, it's comparisons. And that's the way it's done. And uh, you can take even a, a lot of low quality headphones and you can um, make them uh, sound very near hi-fi or even hi-fi. Uh, for example, the uh, Apple AirPods. Uh, one guy on a particular forum, a troll, he's trying to claim that uh, it's ridiculous to review earpods and airpods and claim that they have a good sound or a hi-fi sound and all that. Well, that's pure nonsense. person doesn't know what he's talking about. Uh, you can make them sound very hi-fi, and if you don't believe it, compare that to your average uh, $2,000 speakers. So uh, anyway, so much for that part. The other part of the lecture, besides uh, telling you how that uh, these uh, reviews are done and the uh, response is estimated, is uh, talking about the forums themselves. People out there who troll the forums and everything else and jump on people and make all these you know, idiotic comments do so because they're selling product. You'll see a forum and they're pushing a lot of product and uh, you know that's what they do. They troll, and if somebody wants to interrupt that by trying to save somebody money, to uh, you know, get not necessarily to get you a bargain, but just to save you money, so you don't buy something unnecessarily. Well, they don't like that, so they ban people for that. And no matter what they say, no matter what they say, you got to go check it out for yourself. Got to look for yourself. Anyway, that's what we do here. Is uh, we do all this stuff for free. I don't monetize anything. It's all done for free, out of pocket, and uh, call it a hobby. And uh, I want to get people uh, in touch with how to get the best sound out of these things, how to make the best choices and all that sort of thing, save you some money. This is a $700 headphone here, and hopefully we can uh, sort some of this out right now. The, uh, the base on here is, uh, to me, and based on the last X number of headphones I've had, it's kind of a classic neutral base, almost like a Sennheiser 800. Uh, most people today would consider it not even to be warm. It's just kind of a, it's a neutral sound. It's a good hi-fi sound in uh, classic terms, but you know, uh, I, I, I boost it just to play almost anything. And uh, so even, even music tracks that have a pretty strong bass, they still sound uh, better with that bass boost a little bit. And that's in the deep bass. The upper bass is fine. I got a little bump up there in the mid-range around uh, 600 hertz, you can ignore that. It just uh, pushes the vocal back up to where it should be, uh, you know, compared to live music and all that sort of thing. That's another basis for my reviews, is uh, how live music sounds compared to headphones. And then in the lower treble here between, um, let's say, mostly between about 3 and uh, 6 kilohertz, 3 to 5, yeah, 3 to 5 kilohertz. I'm pushing this up uh, more than six decibels, maybe seven, seven and a half, eight decibels, and uh, that's because there's a recess there. And how I judge that, I will explain. Now, this, uh, in terms of a lot of these reviewers of uh, flagship headphones, I'll tell you anything that's plus or minus three dB is is uh, flagship quality in terms of response. And this is going to be plus or minus three and a half, so you know, hey, that's flagship. And this is a seven hundred dollar headphone. But about that recess, uh, most of the headphones I had before 2013, they uh, they had a fairly good amount of presence in that presence range in uh, that uh, lower treble, uh, like I said, about three to five kilohertz. 
And the first one I had that uh, sounded pretty good, but it had a little recess there, was the Shure SRH 1840. And then uh, the 1540 came along, and it was even darker than that. So I don't know where they've gone since then. But uh, anyway, uh, most of the headphones had a pretty good presence back then. Uh, Sennheiser 800, for example, and quite a few others. Uh, and then some headphones came along, like the, um, the Audio Quest uh, Nighthawk, and uh, that one from, um, you know, it was those other guys. It was uh, another headphone I had that cost uh, $550. It was in that uh, carbon fiber and uh, whatever. I can't remember these things, but anyway, it was uh, both those were kind of recessed in the uh, lower treble along with this uh, Blue Microphones Ella. So anyway, it's no surprise to me if um, if you are more tuned into the current trend and you like that kind of sound with uh, uh, the presence range damping down a little bit, this may be just the perfect one for you without any EQ at all, and you have to deal with the bass. The uh, otherwise. Uh, you could, uh, if you got a good equalizer, you could pump that up a little bit. But the sound is really great. It's a planar, and uh, that besides having, a, uh, once I boost the bass, and I'm happy with it, and everything else is still a very detailed bass. And uh, the amazing part, unlike other planars I've had, even the, uh, you know, from let's say six hundred to a thousand dollars, which had a little bit of trouble with the trouble with the clarity and everything, uh, this one. Has great sparkle, and uh, my track "Girl from Guatemala" by uh, Chesky and uh, his singer really showed it off. At three minutes in there, they have a tremendous burst of uh, treble energy, and uh, it just sounds spectacular on here. And you don't need an exceptional amp to hear that, but the better the amp, the better it sounds. That's for sure. Uh, soundstage on here, I consider pretty pretty darn good. Now this is a, a closed back headphone, and it's. Uh, Soundstage is pretty good, but again, you know, you, uh, if you do get the uh, right response curve, or you like it just the way it is, you should be getting the best uh, soundstage anyway. So this has a couple cables it comes with. There's the um, about a you know, let's see, I don't know, four and a half foot, five foot uh, fiber type cable, fiber wound cable. I don't know what it is. But that little short cable has a quarter inch plug on the end of it, which is very strange. And on this end is a, uh, not a mini plug, but something smaller, a 2.5, and it has the extra connector on it. I don't know why it has the extra connector in the air cup. Uh, seems like I've seen uh, uh, headphones with controls that have a uh, two connector going to the air cup. But anyway, they have um, another cable that has a mini plug terminator. And then there's the uh, you know micro plug for the uh, going into the ear cup. And then this guy, I'm not gonna unravel it all, it's about ten feet long. So they did the opposite of what I would expect. They put the quarter inch on the portable cable and they put the um, you know 3.5 millimeter on the studio cable. Very strange. Maybe all the studio stuff has uh, 3.5 millimeter today, I don't know. So I'm using the Grado adapter quarter inch adapter and then uh the cable go here. Da, 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 da. Cable. And that's the long cable. There's a short cable. Just use any quarter inch to uh mini plug adapter and off you go. And mini plug on the end. Of course that doesn't have the uh smartphone connector or whatever. They also have a uh charger cable for the um built-in amps. I'm not using those. I tested them out. The uh, There's where the uh, cable plugs into the headpiece and then you see the uh, charging micro USB right there port. And then on the uh, let's see if you can get this focused right here. On this little thingy here where we plug the cable in It's very, very tiny print, and it says off, and off, on, and on plus. On plus, I think. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> on plus uh, boosts the bass and treble. On is just amp only, and then off is no amp. And um, I tested the response as close as I could, and I, uh, I don't see any significant difference in in off and on. 
Uh, the on plus I'm not concerned about at all because uh, I'm not going to review that but uh, anyway uh, good sound yeah once again <coughs> Woo. sneezing um, yeah. is that mechanism for how this stuff goes on your head this is kind of backwards here yep bump and you put this on your head and just pull these out there and just drop it right on your ears and for some reason it fit me perfectly I imagine most heads will fit this perfectly when I put it on the uh, ear cups are pretty good size I'm going to get a good look into this thing right here yeah there we go pretty good size uh, certainly taller than my average size ears by a good little bit and then uh, just a hair wider so they're a very comfortable fit people have large ears it might work with this um, the uh, Probably way that most people's large ears will fit okay vertically about. Uh, Width-wise, I don't know. Uh, kind of depends on how wide the ears are. But uh, very, very comfortable fit for me. Much bigger than the um, V-Mode M100 and that sort of series. Ear pads are, you know, nice leather. They smell like real leather. I don't know exactly what they are, but uh, leather stitched, whatever. And these are planar drivers. And uh, this is probably the best planar that I've had so far, given the uh, caveats about the response. And other planars that I've had uh, for some time were uh, at uh, LCD2 with that uh, modification that they did to, um, to the structure of the ear cup. I can't remember what that was called. And then I had uh, Mr. Speakers. Uh, the $600 one, whatever that is, and uh, I didn't like that at all. Although it was pretty flat, but it was kind of sounded flat too, really flat, like no fizz, no whatever. And uh, other plain R's, I don't remember. Uh, the other uh, really high-tech headphone I've had recently was the, uh, uh, you know, that Focal Elear. It had an even bigger recess in the lower treble. But uh, it had a fantastic response to it uh, once equalized. This thing is pretty heavy, and if you put this on your head, you'd probably best uh, sit still and don't try to move around a bunch because it's, it's going to feel pretty heavy. It's got incredible padding. Padding on here is quite amazing. Very heavy metal construction here. But, uh, you know, like I said, don't move around because otherwise it will kind of shake and be very uncomfortable. That mechanism is really amazing. Anyway, I didn't uh, I didn't bring the box because the box was gigantic. But I think on here I've actually got a picture of the box. Let's see if we can find that on here. Picture of the box. No, not there. Right here. Box. Where's the box? Yeah, I guess that's it right there. A picture of the box. Great big box, huge box. And uh, it comes with a carry bag, just a plain old cloth carry bag, and it has these two cables and a charging cable, and uh, that's it. So they're nice cables, but why in the world to put a quarter inch on the portable cable? I'll never know. But anyway, there's, uh, there's my review and lecture on the. Um, Blue Microphones Ella, and they have a lot of other blue microphones. I haven't tried any of them. So, uh, anyway, uh, pretty good recommendation, even at $700. And, uh, you know, uh, watch out for the trolls. Uh, save yourself some money, and don't buy into the junk. Uh, go out and check out the reviews for yourself. Do some comparisons. Always compare. Thank you very much.